Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at a star light projector. It's more of a novelty item, but it's an interesting lighting piece that combines a laser light in addition with LED lights that resembles ocean waves together and oscillates on your ceiling, can change different colors, and also has a built-in speaker. In addition, you can also connect this to Wi-Fi. If linked to the internet, you can turn it on or off by using your voice commands on your digital assistant. So again, working with Assistant and Alexa, um, it can be turned on or off remotely. The app can also be connected to change things like the color of the light, uh, which is also quite neat, and the luminance, the brightness, various modes. Inside we have, of course, the star projector speaker itself. There's a remote control to change the different effects, as well as control things like the microphone or voice effect. There's also a power adapter that uses USB and the charging cable, which uses a standard USB Type-C, which is always nice to see here in 2020. Finally, there is a quick user manual. One thing I do want to point out is that this particular lighting speaker system does not have a built-in battery, so it does need to be connected to the power at all times. Would have liked to see one built in, but it is what it is. The entire body here is made out of a polycarbonate plastic, but feels decently rigid. The top here features the dome, which has the kind of LED lights for the wave patterns for the ocean wave part. And then this little part here is where the laser aperture comes from. So that's the laser light. And otherwise on the side here is where the sound comes out of. It is a stereo speaker, but the sound quality is not going to be the highest priority here. More of that novelty lighting is the first function, I think, that's the main selling point. So speaker quality is decent. We'll do a test here in a moment, but it's not going to rival more expensive, dedicated speakers. Now on the side here, you can turn it on, off, or turn it into the Wi-Fi controlled mode. There is the USB Type-C for power, a built-in microphone there for sensing the music, and you can also adjust the brightness uh, intensity. There's even a USB socket that you can use to charge your smartphone when the speaker is also connected to power. So it can become also a phone charger, which is kind of neat. And then there's controls here if you don't want to use the remote for changing some of the quick toggles, pairing it using Bluetooth, skipping tracks, changing the volume, things like that. The bottom here also features some soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around. And so now we have it uh, plugged in and this is what it looks like. You can see that uh, it creates this pretty mesmerizing effect on all the walls and ceilings. And especially if we dim all the lights here, the effect becomes even more apparent. Just very dazzling. The green speckles that you can see, by the way, are the laser beams or the laser lights. It slowly oscillates and fades in and out. And then the blue that you're seeing right now is caused by the LED bulb. So there is a two-layer effect, one which is, again, created by the laser beam, the other one which is from the top dome that you see there. The laser light, though, comes in just one color, which is green. You can't change these dots into red, uh, into a red laser or blue laser. So starting off, this is what it kind of looks like as a close-up to the kind of dome itself. There's actually a motor inside that's spinning the light and so it does move and creates that effect and now here we are on the ceiling view from um, a distance of about uh, 12 feet you can see how it creates still a very dazzling effect almost like again the water waves and the stars are created by the laser beams if we kind of zoom in you can see there so very bright and visible even if you have a little bit of background light, it still is quite easy to see. So we can change the colors there. Here's a red version. Um, you can actually choose up to two colors at once. So it's mixing colors. Right now it's red and green, um, but I can also choose a different color, like a pure green. I can turn off the LEDs from the ocean wave projector and have just the laser beam, um, or I can have just one color, like only red. And I can also choose something like a mixed color with blue. So now it's red and blue, like a pinkish turquoise, which also looks pretty neat. And this one here is now going to be a blue um, and white color. So you can tweak them back and forth. This one here is a regular white light along with the green of the laser beams. Now the oscillation speed can also be adjusted. If I make the speed slower using the remote, you can actually get it to completely pause and stop the movement. So you can actually control uh, the extent in which how fast the waves are oscillating. There's some presets in terms of how it will change through the different colors by itself. So it will slowly oscillate and uh, then dim and display them all one by one. Here's again a look from the ceiling. It can cover the surface area of a large sized room without any real issues like a bedroom or a living room. You can set a timer for it to turn off after one hour or two hours of self transitioning and you can also change things like the volume, you can pause the light altogether, you can bring it back up. 
So as aforementioned, if you don't want to kind of control all of this using the remote or using the keys built onto the star projector, you can also turn to your smartphone and there is a companion app that works in pretty much the same way. So turning the volume down there, the takeaway is the audio quality is actually better than expected. Overall, um, it's again having a little bit more bass than something that you'll find in a really cheap speaker. It actually does pack a little bit in the lower frequency and I'm surprised at how clean it sounds. Even at higher volumes, it doesn't really distort or sound too piercing, which is good. It might not be the most detailed sounding speaker in the world, it's not going to be audiophile grade, but surprisingly it works quite nice. So that's more or less it as far as your hands-on review of this star light projector. Overall it's very cool and I think I liked it more than I was expecting. It combines many products into one from being a speaker, from being a light, laser light, a ocean wave light. Traditionally these have all been separate devices into just one thing that's connected to the internet, connected to Bluetooth, can be a charger for your phone, and is reasonable I think for the price. So it can be pretty fun if you want something to add a fun touch of Again, lighting and color to the room. You can check out more details if interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.